This is grade 5, module 4, lesson 25, and the objective in this lesson is to divide a whole number by a unit fraction. So we are going to start out with uh, question number 1, and this is part C, and it's 4 divided by 1 third. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start um, with a tape diagram because we do have to draw a tape diagram and a number line to solve this and fill in the blanks. So let me start with a tape diagram. So here's my tape diagram and it has four units. And I'm going to take each one of those units and I'm going to divide it into thirds. So let me just use a different color. It's a little easier that way. So I had four units and I divided it by um, into thirds. So four divided by one third and we now have 12 sections. So I'm going to show you how to do this on the number line as well. So let's get our number line drawn. And here's our number line with our whole numbers written in as 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we're dividing those um, by one third, so dividing by thirds. And I have my students go ahead and label um, all of the tick marks here in thirds. And it shows the equivalent fractions for the whole number 1, 2, 3, and 4 um, in regards to thirds. So um, we're going to fill in our blanks in our questions here. And it says there are blank thirds in one hole. Well, if I'm looking at one hole, which is right here, or right here, there are three thirds in one hole. So if there are three thirds in one hole, how many are there going to be in four holes? Well, the answer is there are 12 thirds in four holes. So if four is one third, what is the whole? The whole would be 12. Okay. So now let's take a look at question number four. And number four says, some students prepare three different snacks. They make one eighth pound bags of nut mix, one fourth pound bags of cherries, and one six pound bags of dry fruit. If they buy three pounds of nut mix, five pounds of cherries, and four pounds of dried fruit, how many of each type of snack bag will they be able to make? So let's go ahead with our target sentence. And that reads, the students make blank bags of nut mix, blank bags of cherries, and blank bags of dried fruit. So um, let's take a look at what we have. They have three pounds of nut mix, and they're making one eighth pound bags for the nut mix. So it's going to be 3 uh, divided by 1 eighth. And let's do a tape diagram for that. So I started with my 3 units and I divided it by eighth, which would give me 24. Okay. Then I have 5 pounds of cherries and I'm making 1 fourth pound bags for that. So let me try a tape diagram for that one. So I have my 5 and I'm dividing it by 4. And that will give me 20. And then the last one I have 4 pounds of dried fruit and I'm making 1 6 bags. So let's do a tape diagram for that. And I have my 4 and I'm going to divide each one by 6 and that will give me 24. So this one was the nut mix so we have 24 bags of nut mix. We have 20 bags of cherries and then we have 24 bags of dried fruit. Okay, so the students um, practice with the tape diagrams or the number line for these, and then eventually um, they'll be able to do without the, the, the pictorial visuals for them.